How's your concert last night? It was pretty fun, man. What did they go see? Uh, let's see, the main support was these guys called Negative Approach, and then uh, the headliners were this band called I Hate God, but instead of like I, like the letter I, it's like E Y E, you know, like I for C with. Mm hmm. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah, you said I Hate God. Yeah. What was the, uh,. So they were the main event, or were yeah. they just the the first show? They were the they were the headliners. There was like three local bands that opened for them, but I didn't go see those guys. Where was it? Eighty Ninth Street Collective. Oh, that's cool. Have you ever been there? I've never been there. I need to go there because I have a friend that's in a band called Next to North, and uh, they play some really kick-ass songs. Yeah. Are they like anime style? No, it's like actually like um. You have you ever out? heard like now? Have you ever heard like "I Prevail" or uh, yeah, yeah. "Pierce the Veil" or anything like that? That's gonna be like a. Oh, that's gonna be more like a oh, little hardcore, things, little uh, little soft every here and there. The which things that gave me diabetes. No, those are bonbons, sweetheart. Uh, oh, Snapple. Snapple will do that too as well if you drink I, enough of it. I don't like Snapple. It tastes like pencil shavings. <laughs> <laughs> I've roommate, never had Snapple to be honest ever. Our first, my roommate. It, First college I went to and I, we used to buy a case, I say a case, like a little six pack of that uh, Snapple peach tea every time we went to Walmart. And that should be gone like the first 30 minutes we had. The Snapple peach tea? Yeah. At my work, we have a new watermelon iced tea. That sounds disgusting. It's actually pretty good. Uh, they put the bad thing is they put too much sugar in it. I mean, that's pretty normal for anywhere that's going to be like serving sweet tea. One time yeah. my stepdad juiced a, uh, he juiced a seedless watermelon, and dude, it was the most disgusting thing ever. Like, I like watermelon, but it was nasty. I don't know. Me and Chance went up and got a, we went and got some of that boba tea from Tao Cafe recently. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. The one up here? Yeah. Uh, the one right next to GameStop? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. I love that stuff. My favorite is the honeydew milk tea. And I, I freaking love honey. I got their vanilla honey. shake smoothie, and it just tasted like coffee creamer. I mean, that's <laughs> basically what it is. Um, but, I mean, you go there for the tea. I don't really go there for the coffee. If I want coffee, like, I'll make it myself. I wish I was yeah, he, could do, so he, could, he could totally get through that. I mean, his BJ Blauskowitz can't. He probably hits it every time he goes through. He makes about halfway. Oh, and, oh, BJ. oh God, can't be doing that. Right there. Start killing them, they're everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, you just got being gay. So, did y'all see the whole thing about the Charlottesville? Oh, yeah. Uh, I thought we didn't talk about stuff like that. Yeah, we try to refrain things because. I'll get pretty fast. I mean, I'm not I'm not saying anything political at all. It's just. Is this it reminding was... you of Charlottesville because of this game? All the Nazis. Well, I mean, like I noticed, just it's it's weird, but the like it was just it was just bad, like to hear about that, to hear that people got run over. Like I didn't even know what it was, like what it was over for almost like a week after I found out what it what had happened. The f funny thing is, like, and and uh, Wolfenstein too. There's like a clip where there's a Klansman trying to like become the Nazi guy, mm -hmm. but the Nazi guy was like, "Nope, you're not one of us," and stuff, and so they just get like. Dehumanized by him. It's pretty that's funny. weird. But I thought that was pretty funny. I mean, yeah, I was that's like, weird. Because like the clans run is like, yeah, you know, go go us, you know. And they're like, you're not one of us. Mm -hmm. Oh, did I tell you I'm trying to 100% Breath of the Wild right now? Is uh. I don't know what that wait, is. What? Breath of the Wild? Zelda? Oh. I'm trying to 100% it right now. Like, I've already beat Ganon. I thought before. you were trying to, like a new toothpaste. So I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, like Breath of the Wild. It smells like. I thought maybe Dope it was some pussy. weird allegory for like I'm not using deodorant or powder on my balls. Oh no, it just it smells like moose dick. <laughs> Whenever <laughs> you brush your teeth, you just have the heart. I mean, it's even got artificial moose hair in it just to, just to give you that real gritty feeling, like you got clean. Okay, I think we got this far farther. Yeah. Yeah, we've been here before. Shoot that thing. Blow him up. Yeah, we gotta blow this motherfucker up. Shoot him in the balls. Shh, I think you may shoot his legs. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Because, uh, we, yeah. If you guys are just not watching this, we had a restart against most of the time. Because for some reason, it's just in it. Hooray, data corruption! Oh god, what happened? 
I don't know what happened. Did you die? I think you died. Okay, I think you have to shoot the legs. I think there's covers on the legs you have to shoot, and it falls over. I don't know what just happened, though. Uh, I don't know. Hooray Something data corruption? Break the window. Yeah, you died. And why is the floor all wet? <laughs> I don't know, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> what do most people do after sex? I don't know. <laughs> We've never made it this far. Just say anything. Anything? Anything. Let's get married. Why the fuck did you say that? Get married. Alright, All right, so shoot the legs. Like, right there where the covers are, I think that's where you're supposed to shoot. Keep shooting. Unless I'm supposed to shoot off the can from up here. Nothing. No, I think you're supposed to shoot that, because last time we shot it and it falls over and it does it for you. Probably. Oh, shoot the big, uh, shoot the big blue tanks on the side. There you go. There we are. Yeah, there we go. We just weren't aiming in the right spot, apparently. Yeah. There we are. Yeah, just load him up full of shells. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We're like you know Power Rangers. Right Power Rangers? Yeah, Power Rangers. On what? On HBO. Really? What? Like, yeah. which one? The new one? Yeah, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. That's there. There's a lot of Mighty Morphin Sun. There's four seasons and two movies now. Sun? Yeah. D don't talk to me. I am a thorough veteran of all the Power Rangers up to this point. That's like, right, hon. Animorph. <laughs> Animorph. Ugh. God. Was that Anim one? It, no, Animorph was not one. Um, Animorph was something completely different. But there, there was, was there was a Megazord that was apparently a god called Animus. Um, guy in my class. No, Animorph was a Marcus, Transformer series. And he was like a biggest fan of Power Rangers. Metamorphoses. I was only a big fan of like the Japanese series because they were actually like really, really like gritty and dirty sometimes. Like, um, like they should the, nipples. <laughs> well, no, like they would actually like the only series I think we ever had where someone died in it was Lost Galaxy. The Pink Ranger dies. Dang. Like she actually dies in the show. Um, but in like the Japanese versions, like of. Wild Force, I think it was. Like, the Blue Ranger actually gets blown up. And you see him get blown up. Dang. And you feel really bad. Like, What's the purpose of this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Is there a code you have to do? Is there a certain way you do it? the first time I've ever been in here before. What's it say on the wall? Anything? I... Do that one, the third one, and then the second one. See what that does. You've only got, like... Nine possible things you could probably have. Turn that yeah, off. It opened. Uh, uh, this one? Yeah, that thing just opened. What's in there? Ooh! Oh, silencer. Hey. That could actually help out well. Hey. Yeah! I'll definitely go not to stomp my dad. You can hump stomp my dad me. You're supposed to know there's that other thing. Oh. Um, no, there, when there was another path up there. Was it? I'm pretty sure. There's well, got. There's supposed to be a way out. Go to, to the, the left. Go to the left. Yeah. To the left. To the left. Everything you must not about. know about me. Oh. I love how you just walk in and everyone's sitting there like, oh hey Steve, you know what you've been doing? Oh hey a guy. Blaskowitz. I just got PJ Blaskowitz. I'm gonna move this forward just a little bit so I'm not so loud. Hey, he blew himself up. There we go. Okay. Now I probably don't sound as loud to everyone. Yeah. Because I'm like leaning forward to try and see, and like I progressively get closer and closer to that microphone. So, you know, I don't want their, them to hear my ah. hot, whispery breath. Get them. Get them. Get on that gun. So now I just stab them from the back. Okay. Yeah, I think that's where you shoot now. Boom! That plane just took off into the sky. <laughs> He's just flying again. That's Ferguson. I hear him there. I hear him, Ferguson. He's Ferguson. Take him out. Shoot him in the brain. Right, we can still save Ferguson if you want to still. Oh, here's that guy. Right I up. mean, I've, I've, I saved Ferguson when I did it, and uh, oh, that's a big dog. Oh, oh that's I a big this. dog. Oh god, die. Shoot him in the face! That's a really dumb machine. 
they gave a robot dog a sensitivity of robots. Exit level. Now we're back in the level. Yeah, crank yank that. So how was your guys' day so far? Mine was uh, very counterproductive. I did nothing. I pretty much slept all day, and I got a credit card. Whoa! Yeah, I. I that means we can Your financial overthrow. woes are just about to be. <laughs> no, I'm actually like for anyone out there who is like at our age, like trying to get a credit card. Definitely, you know, be be wise about it. Don't. Don't be stupid. I'll Never be definitely outtake. spending on a new house and a new apartment and an office yeah, right. for all of us. Get a two-story apartment for all of us. We only use one room. <laughs> God, you gotta have some killer-ass credit. If you want to build credit, the best way that I've, at least the way I've done it, my mom always said to buy like a pack of by gum. getting interrupted. You no, know, it's good. <laughs> PayPal. There's this thing called PayPal credit, man. This start you off with like a three hundred dollar credit line. And then, like two months later, it's two grand, and next thing you know, you owe like PayPal twenty five hundred dollars. <laughs> wow, yeah, you went around it wrong. No, like low interest is a good way to start. Like I'm starting with a card that has extremely low interest, no annual fees or anything like that, because uh, when you uh, you never should really spend uh, you know dollar for dollar what you have you know to your name and money, which you know is a good habit, and then pay it all back, but. Like, to build credit now, I really need to, because I want to buy a house someday. My brother's friend said to buy a car, a used car. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, it, car loans. Because yeah, you can, you can pay that off, and that will give you uh, that'll give you credit. But a good way is just to get, like, a really low-interest credit card. You know, spend, like, you know, just spend a little bit of money and then pay it back as you go. Um, you can either pay it back in full or pay it back little by little. Either way builds credit. But I suggest usually paying it back in full is better because then your interest stays down and it shows that you're very good with money. And they give you breaks later on when you go to like get other credit cards. Ooh, got one. I got one. That's what I was saying about I love how we like jumped into credit cards and shit like that. That PayPal credit thing is zero interest if you pay it off in six months. Talk about. I mean, yeah, most credit cards you get will start off with zero interest for six months. But, that's, shiny. that's credit. We're not here to talk about credit. We're not a bank. We're freaking Let's Players. We're here to talk about getting BJ Blaskowitz. Whoa. Wow. They just got BJ. <laughs> they just got CJ. Oh, oh <laughs> damn. You hear that, CJ? Oh, no, you didn't because you don't watch our shit. Because we're not like your favorite pals on Rooster Teeth or whoever the fuck you watch now. <laughs> We're not Team uh, Four Star. We don't dub over fucking Dragon Ball Z shit. Hey, 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 hey! That's that's mean. I like Team Four Star. They're actually really good. They are pretty good. I think it's funny. I tell people to go watch that version instead of the original because you'll actually get all the story. It's just funnier to watch, and there's no bullshit. Yeah. I mean, you miss a little bit, but not much. That's cool. Quit shooting him. Well, he's dead, man, anyways. Alright, time to go. Silent. Only one gun is silent. I know, that sucks. <laughs> time to go, Team Silent. So, explain to me where German Nazis got a hold of a, uh, a giant castle on a cliff. And, um, where did that come from? Like, I'll completely give them that maybe they're, you know, maybe they were smart enough and fast enough that they could, you know, build big diesel-powered war dogs and big tripod walkers, but where the hell did they get a castle? They have, they must have some... Whoa, see them spreading it? Maybe they have some killer credit. <laughs> <laughs> Nazi National Bank. I need to see what their credit loans are running at. Just walk up really close behind him and snap his neck. Oh, no, well, you can shoot him in the head, too. That always works. I love that guy Guy is just staring at you and just letting it happen. Yeah. Oh, dude, Michael. Yeah. This is really good. CJ, if you're watching this, come hang out with us, you piece of crap. Yeah, CJ. We miss you. He looks like a sad old man now. 
<laughs> I mean, he works at Walmart. <laughs> I know. I uh, work at Walmart. <laughs> I work at Walmart. I want my dad's flight jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that's what he's evolving into. Huh? Well, if his... I literally thing. feel like Walmart employees are not being treated as well. So that's why they're assholes to us. Like, I really made, like, a whole, like, rant about Walmart at the store about, like... Because there's a video about the loss prevention people who are, like, pretty much not really, like, security. They're just, like, Walmart security, mm -hmm. which have no security training whatsoever. And, uh, this woman gets called for a search and shit. And, uh, this guy's all like, oh, yeah, I believe he stole something. And so, uh... Oh, I, I've seen that video. And, like, he just, like, throws her shit around. I was like, what the fuck? Like, it really pissed me off. I was like, man, okay. Well, I mean, more. technically, they really don't have the right to do that anyway. Um, no store technically has the right to really search you without, like... Right. Uh, yeah, without since... probable cause and having, like, an officer on the scene. That's usually why they keep, like, one officer around. And I think that's why, uh... And, and I think I saw something that says Walmart is a, is a privatized type deal. And so if they ask you to see your receipt, you don't have to show them. And so, I mean, I'm like, eh, I don't know, like, that guy really had to, like, throw his, sh like, her shit around? Like, no, uh, for something that small, I could completely understand if you're, like, rolling by with a TV or, like, a game console or something big, you know, high dollar price, maybe a brand new vacuum cleaner or a surround sound system, something expensive, but... I think that lady was just, like, getting groceries and stuff. Just yeah, and the average, got, everyday, average Joe kind of stuff. And, and she got, like, a Tickle Me Ammo type doll that was, like, 15 bucks, but on the website it said $17. And she was like, just check the website. And so, and, like, he's like, oh, whatever. And so he got, got like, like, you know, like, how people, uh, yeah. you know, um, what do you call, call it when, when people get proven wrong? Um, just like really salty. Yeah. Kind of like, no, it's more, it's not really upset. It's more just kind of like discouraged and kind of like, well, you know, even though you're wrong, I don't care. Yeah. And then he just like throws her shit around. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, that dog didn't see it coming. Yeah. I don't like that kind of stuff. You and know, okay. I just, I'm like, same thing happened to my dad. Like, uh, the loss prevention people were following my dad that around. So like, I guess he got like a slip on them. And so he like complained about, uh, just them like stalking him basically yeah and so and so like the guys are like is everything all right and my dad says like yeah i think this guy's like trying to pickpocket my my shit <laughs> so he got him in trouble i'm like and so same thing that kind of happened to me but it wasn't like it was like 5 a.m uh, my mom had like an art oh, shit. had like an art show and shit yeah and so uh like my brother was uh was supposed to go and so he didn't have pants like Good looking, nice, nice pants and stuff. Yeah. And so it was like 5 a.m., you know, the clothing aisle is not open, but Kai was like, well, we're up, we should go get some now before we have to go because. Yeah. Uh, and like this woman shows up and she's like, hey, uh, you know, uh, this uh, this place is not open yet. Or I was like, yeah, we're just trying on because we're, we're right up, but then open up the door, you know, like. Yeah. You can easily see us. But obviously, he doesn't have Walmart. Walmart didn't well, yeah, but it was uh, but it was the clothing part, like they're not open. The little try-on area. Yeah. Like the, everything's open, but like he he need you have to try on clothes. And, yeah. Like I'll completely understand that. But. Like like even though it was five a.m., yeah, it's not open. But I'm like, I told her the truth and everything, and I told her I was like, hey, we're not stealing anything. You can check us if you want. Like you know, I'm just like because uh. We're we got still, a art like, show coming up, you know, he needs pants, and he's got to try some on, And so. she really got pissed off. Like, she started throwing shit around. I was like, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know if it's just, like, Walmart's treating them bad, or if they're just hiring people that just don't have good, like, just good skills altogether. Well, how, uh, what kind of people with good skills are you going to attract for okay, your wages? Well, I mean, there's plenty of things you could do, but Walmart just has this whole idea of just hire more people at less wage and then you don't have to pay as much like technically like for like what my job has where we have so many people technically we have to work with what we have but the more people you have you can just like not call people in at all for a week and you know you're saving money because you're just paying someone else to do it exactly. you just pay the same set amount you just 
pay it to different people and you're not going over hours you're not having to worry about like wage problems and that's like the biggest thing that most retailers have now is why they won't give out like full 40 hour shifts anymore because if they can deny uh, 40 hour shifts it means that they don't have to pay overtime and they don't have to pay tax uh, they don't have to pay taxes or insurance like I'm all for all the cool Walmart employees like I, like there's a bunch of high school schoolers that work that we know that work at Wal like Walmart up here yeah and there just... are some really good there are some really good associates out there I'm not hitting I'm not like throw, trying to throw punches at but anyone I mean, but doesn't like, does your job really suck so bad that you actually have to piss off other people? <laughs> Customer I mean, service just, is the worst possible thing that you can ever work with. I mean, people any, suck. I think the whole thing is, is like, most people are like, you know, they never want to work a customer service job, but technically, no matter what field you go in, you're going to have to deal with people at some point. So customer service skills are good. And the, and the bad thing is, uh, now the Walmart up here, mm -hmm. they got uh, the self-service stuff, and I don't really like that, because... You don't got the people, like, working the lines, and it's just a bunch of self-service people. Well, the whole reason they're doing it now is because they can cut back on people. Yeah, and They only have to call people in on, like, like holidays. And that's why I really made, like, a big rant. I was like, you know, these things are taking over your guys' job. <laughs> they didn't seem to care. I'm like, okay, then. I mean, I'm sure the last thing they want to hear is somebody who thinks they're an expert on... Well, I'll well I mean, technically, he's not wrong. It is it is beneficial to the corporation because it does make it faster. Like, all you need is people. one person to actually put in a code and say, oh, here you go. Yeah, and one person can run for those things, if. which isn't which isn't bad, and I can completely understand, because Walmart's a big place, and there's a lot of things. But the whole problem to me, and what I don't like, is it does make it hard for people to get a job. Um... Like, I think the only place that is always hiring, and I know is always hiring, is usually McDonald's. Because they, you know, they pride themselves in having people, you know, having a staff of people that are regulars. But, you know, Walmart's just starting to become this, this huge, huge, multi-million dollar corporation. And, you know, them and Sam's, because they're owned together, they're both looking at it. Because I've noticed that some of the Sam's are doing it now. Some of the Sam's have self-checkout areas. Yeah. And some of the people, like, they'll just have one person at the register just checking out, and then they'll have one person that just goes down the line and will just scan everything on the cart and their card, so that when you walk up, all you have to do is scan your card, and yeah. that's it. And that's just... It's good and bad at the same right. I don't think it should be all the time. So it's all about mechanization taking jobs, not cheaper labor forces for minorities. Basically, we keep we keep getting all this whole thing of like people want these jobs and they want all this money, but with taxes being so high and insurance being hard to come by, corporations are just saying, you know what, spend out you know a couple thousand grand, you know, go mechanized, and then we only have to pay technically five people real you know real money, and then we can just hire a crew and every person gets like five or six hours a week, and then it really just keeps you from paying a lot of money. Which is, I don't mind the machines, but I just really wish the machines were a little bit more updated. Yeah. Because it's just like, I literally, either is a like, he's like, would you like to have this bag? I'm like, if I want it back or not, it's my choice. It's like, oh, there's some unwanted item in the bagging area. I'm like, really? Just change it. Yeah. And then like when you're like, I don't want this bag, you're like, please hold, and then you have to wait for a person. I just rather have them be efficient. I completely understand that. Like, and I feel like they're a lot more slower now than a regular human person because I know that bagging checking is a lot more it's like a sport for some people who actually are able to do that and able to bag, you know, stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I mean, like, Walmart, I don't know. I just hate Walmart. Dude, you totally, like, cleared that by yourself, but then it made you drop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't I mean, know. It just, they, they make it seen that way. I like Walmart is the only thing that's convenient because it's right there and I'm able to like grab stuff right there. Well, I think that's what makes it so convenient. Is not only that it's just there, it's that it's it's both a grocery store and a super center all at once. It's basically a mall and a grocery store put together because it has just about everything you could possibly need. You know, you could go there just looking for food and then realize, like, you need a set of pants for something, and bam, you know, they've already got the pants right there, super cheap. And then you have someone who's uh, pissed off by you. <laughs> yeah. By but, getting said pants. Yeah. yeah, but something that I've noticed that um, really gets me now is 
I've noticed like a lot of places just don't carry stuff anymore. Oh yeah. Like um, especially since I'm like a collector of things, so I go all over the place. I'll go to like Toys R Us. I'll go to Target. I'll go to Vintage Stock. I'll go to all the different random places. And as much as I hate it, I will go to Walmart every now and then because they'll get things that are like exclusive to them. But I just noticed like they won't carry anything in store. Um, whether it be just like everyday common household items.